Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Today I come to you not only as a YouTuber about drones, but a roofing contractor who has drones as a YouTuber. I've been roofing, next year will be 20 years in Dallas-Fort Worth and I've had a lot of really good years. I've downsized my business in the last few years, but I'm still doing right around 100 roofs a year just between me and my office manager. But today I come to you to compare the Maverick Pro 3 to the Pro 2 Zoom and which one's better for roofing inspections. I think the results are shocking. I really do. I was expecting to be a clear winner and there is. So what started was about six or seven years ago, I bought this AEE thinking I would do roof inspections with it. Um, hit it, smashed into my neighbor's Suburban and thought, you know, drones are stupid, right? But then my son came over and flew a DJI drone around my backyard and I thought I gotta get one. So I bought this Holystone 700 and tried to do roofing inspections with the $180 drone and I climbed trees many times. So if you see here, I actually hooked a fishing line up to it because I got tired of it flying away. Then I got smart about three years ago and I got this beautiful drone. I still think this is one of the best looking drones around. The DJI Air. This was thing changed my life as far as roofing, as far as roofing inspections. I mean, you still gotta get your eyes up on it and your hands up there, but just to do quick inspections in areas that I don't, don't wanna get to, this DJI Air was amazing. And then when they came out with the Pro 2 and the Pro 2 Zoom, I bought both of them, but this Pro 2 Zoom really changed things. Also, for my realtors, about 90% of what I do is with real estate agents. I would give them pictures of the houses and I would do a circle around the property, especially when there's land and they all loved it. So it started bringing me more and more realtors who wanted the drone pictures. Um, got my 107, got the Pro 2 Zoom, been really, really happy with it. So I have about 100 drones now, which is kind of crazy, but, but I, to the inspection, okay? And I'm also gonna uh, talk about the difference between the two smart controls also. So me and my son, my son started his own roofing company a couple years ago, uh, we went out to do a roof inspection and we compared the two. But when I got home to make a YouTube, to make a video about it, I mean, the drones are flying around and they're looking um, down at the shingles and, you know, just, I didn't think it was really gonna make a great video on looking down at granules on a shingle and putting it on YouTube. I don't think there would be a, a definite winner and it was hard to kind of see uh, the aspects of how the drone looks down at it. I mean, if we were looking at cell towers or things like that, that would be different. That night, I thought, you know what? I'm going to go home and I'm going to put, I'm going to tape a hundred dollar bill to one of my skylights and then I'll do the roofing inspection because then I'll be able to look down and see which one gets a, a closer image uh, to see if maybe if I could even possibly even read the lettering on the bottom. Here's some footage when me and my son went and did the roof inspection the first time. So right now we're going to be testing the difference between the new, between the Mavic 3, Mavic Pro 2 Zoom on how the difference on the camera footage on uh, roof inspections, see which one you can see better for hail damage and is it better. So this is the Mavic 2 Zoom. Trees. So right now we're about what? five feet above the shingles. Um, see how far I can zoom in? My goodness, this is insane how good this thing drove. Of course, it's beeping because I'm close. But look at that. Wow. I mean, that's, that's the zoom. That's good old trusty. And even when you're 15, 20 feet above, that zoom looks like you're right there on the shingles too. Look at that. So back away, watch this. Man, the Maverick 3 is gonna have to do really good to beat this thing. So, so I'm, look how far away I am and how far I can zoom in. All right, you can be at least 15, 20 feet up right, and it so still looks. All right, now let's try the Maverick 3. So here's a picture I've taken and I've digitally zoomed in on it and you can see the clarity of the footage. This is probably a three inch by five inch area. Very, very good. I should try to make it hit a tree and see if it would. No, <laughs> that's up to you. <laughs> I feel like the Mavic 3 flies different too. Well, it's the, so quiet. The legs it's are... just so, it's so spot on. So you're about the same height you were before with the Mavic 2. Uh-huh. Now see, 
So it's going to go into, and you're going to hit that. Digital zoom, not an optical it's zoom, an opti right? Yeah. We're about the ex exact same height that the Mavic 2 was. Look at that. Uh, Look at that. And this is a digital zoom, not even an optical zoom. And it's going. Oh my God! Right to like I you mean, can see the particles in the shingle. I mean, so look, see this blister right here. Look at that. Okay, you have to see how far out I am. Watch this. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow! All right, so let's let's go to the backside again. Cause that's the whole point of um try doing it from about 15 feet up well, let me go to this other side all right so now we're so see how far away i am right now Let, let's say you didn't want to get it let's say you didn't want to get any closer than that i mean it's not even giving me a warning so let's zoom in now holy cow what <laughs> so that's the wind blowing it around a little bit. I mean, it's hardly it's, moving. Yeah, it's, it's just pretty a, windy out too. That's a that's a twenty eight times zoom. So let me bring it a little bit closer that's and then insane. zoom back out. Will it focus in on it, or is it too close? It's gonna take a minute. I'm trying I mean, to tap it. On it. That's fine. Wow. I mean, that's like looking at smaller than an ant. Cause you, it's a little windy up there, so, all right. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think it would stand a chance. So I'm gonna take it up to a, a three-story building. All right. So what do you think? <laughs> it did seem to move around a little bit more in the wind mm -hmm. and when it does because you're 28 times zoom you know there's a little focus bit of in movement. on one singular I mean, little spot if you have that it's not worth upgrading but i am really impressed that if you want to just go do roof inspections and do all the other things that the maverick 3 can do especially the flight time 40 minutes is a long time to be in the air i get about what two what do we get about 22 20 20 to 22. 20 to 20. So it didn't stay focused like the zoom. You know what I mean? It did yeah. go in and out. The zoom holds its focus amazing, but it did really, really well. So as you can see, it's hard to look down on the shingles on TV and see which one is a clear, definite winner. Now let me show you outside the difference between the two when I look at the $100 bill. All right, so you can see we got the ND4 on there now. So now let's go see if that helps it a little bit better. Yeah, because I kept trying different ND filters, everything I could to try to get it to recreate what happened when me and my son went out. But this is what I kept getting. You see it, you can see that blip when it changes cameras, but I kept focusing in. I couldn't get it to focus like it did the first time. This is what I kept getting. So I kept it in my truck for several days. I took it to, I'll show you in a few minutes. I took it to commercial jobs, more residential jobs. All right, so let's go put the Pro 2 zoom up in the air. And put her in the air. That's how long it takes to get this thing in the air. Of course, I would do an inspection straight into the sun. I'll we'll put her over there. Ah, see, that already looks better to me. I know it's not a 28 times zoom. All right, so as you can see here, as a Pro 2 Zoom comes in, I mean, this is what it looks like. You can read the serial numbers on it. And this is what it looks like whenever you uh, do post-op and spread it out. It's amazing. So if there's a little bit of wind, even at four times Zoom, you can see it moving around here, but you can still clearly see what you're looking at. I mean, I can, like I said, I can read the serial numbers on it. So I brought the Pro 2 Zoom back. And as you can see here, I mean, the Maverick 3, if you're 400 foot up in the air and you're looking down, this is my next door neighbor, he's doing a remodel, and I can zoom down into his trailer and see something, and this is from 400 feet. Look at that. So don't get me wrong, it, Maverick 3's got a lot of good things to, it can be used for. So the next day, I actually tried it again in the backyard, and I took the uh, Maverick 
Pro 2 zoom out and look at the pictures that it did on this $20 bill. It did really, really good. And this is the best that I could uh, get from the Maverick 3 when I sent it back out. Look how blurry it is. Very depressing <laughs> trying to recreate. I just wanted to get my data correct before I posted this video. These are some of the shots I took before I went back and kept trying over and over. I took the Maverick 3 out to this big commercial job in downtown Dallas that we're gonna do. And for just flying around, it did great. I mean, just and for visual inspections of doing just overviews of looking down at shingles and flying around, it's a solid drone. And here's actually the second home I looked at after me and my son did that inspection and the Maverick 3 did good. I didn't even have the Pro 2 zoom with me. I thought, well, the Maverick 3 is all I need. But as I came to this house and I kept trying to zoom in, that's when I started realizing that uh, the Maverick 3 is inconsistent because this data that it's given me looking at these shingles is almost unusable. Uh, the Pro 2 zoom would do much better. So that's when I started being convinced that uh, the Maverick 3 doesn't seem to do as good. See right here, those granules, you can't hardly even use that. You can't show that to anybody to, to show them the condition, kind of, but the Maverick Pro 2 zoom does so much better. Uh, you do have a lot of confidence in flying it around. I gotta give it that. I mean, it is solid. Look at the way it pans and everything. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the turning of the drone and the way it performs. It feels really good in your hands when it's flying around. Hopefully there's a new firmware update coming out and hopefully that may change some of it because right now uh, the Pro 2 Zoom is a different winner. <laughs> I'll keep trying with both drones and hopefully that new update will maybe make it more consistent. But let's go inside and I'll give you my final review on both drones and which one I think might be better for you. All right guys, I actually shot this video weeks ago, but I wanted to make sure I got my data correct. The first time me and my son went out and we used the Maverick 3 versus the Pro 2 Zoom, the Maverick 3 actually did better than the Pro 2 Zoom. They both did really good on the 4 times Zoom, but the 28 times Zoom really worked better on the Maverick 3. So I threw this in my truck for a few weeks, but I could, it was too inconsistent. I kept having to find out that I had to keep moving this up and down to get it to focus uh, in the 4 times Zoom perfectly, and then the 28 times Zoom sometimes was completely uh, unusable. Whereas every time I use the Pro to zoom it works perfect every single time so this one's three thousand dollars and i think you can probably get these used for about eight hundred dollars now so if you've got a pro 2 zoom man stick with it i mean don't get me wrong i love the maverick 3. i was in uh, colorado all last week mapping and we used the we used the maverick 3 a lot in the mountains the extra flight time was amazing when i did my downtown shot of the drones and the fireworks i actually had this thing up in the air almost 40 minutes and it did amazing. The nighttime shots with this thing are just incredible. Uh, and it flies differently. You just feel more solidly when this is in the air and you're controlling it. Um, on the controllers, I do like the, um, I still like the old controller better because the new one uses the FPV uh, gimbals. I like the old gimbals better. They're just a little bit, little bit more fluid. And this one has a go send button in the settings and this one doesn't. So even though they're really close, I do like the old, uh, smart controller better than the new new one. So one more thing they both have the four time optical zoom and so the Maverick 3 is using the four time optical zoom on the bottom camera then the top one is a 28 times zoom and I know I explained a little bit earlier about what that means but here's a better explanation. This camera when I focus it in and out is an optical zoom. It's actually moving the lenses inside here to send the data back to the to the camera optically in what a 28 times zoom is, is it's just taking the picture inside the ECU and it's just stretching it out. Kind of like the DJI Matrice 300, it's a 200 times zoom. Well, you can make a million times zoom, but at some point that data is unusable because it's just too blurry. So my final analysis is that sometimes the Maverick 3 is better, but consistently the DJI zoom works perfect every time. The Maverick 3, um, when I went out with my son, worked perfectly, but all the other times I kept having to move it up and down and mess around to try to get that four time optical zoom to work perfectly every time. And every once in a while, the 28 times zoom works really good and sometimes it doesn't. So if you're 500 foot in the air, or excuse me, if you're 400 foot in the air and you want to look down and see what's in your neighbor's 
truck bed like I showed you, then this, the 28 times zoom is really good. But for roofing inspections, to look at the granules on a roofing shingle, the Pro 2 zoom, to me is still the clear winner overall. Maybe when they get the firmware updated on this camera, it'll focus a little bit better. This is an amazing drone. I'm really happy with it. Don't get me wrong. If you're a drone enthusiast, you almost got to get one of these, right? Almost all DJI drones have a four times zoom now. I think the Mini is a two, the Air 2S has a four, um, but that's digital. But these are the two drones now that have the optical zoom. I know a lot of roofers in almost every insurance company I've ever met, they show up with the, with the Maverick Pro 2 because when they get back, it's such an incredible picture, such good megapixels, they, they can just spread the picture out and get the data that they need. So as always, if you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. Sorry I said I'd get this video out weeks ago, but I just wanted to get my data correct. And my data is that this thing works incredible. It's just too inconsistent. The Maverick Pro 2 is spot on every time, works perfectly. So that's still gonna be my go-to drone when I go do roofing inspections because four times zoom is all you're ever gonna need when you're doing roofing inspections. You don't need 28 times zoom. Um, so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.